Hey, what's up everyone, Kevin here. In this video, I wanna share with you how to progress your 360s from doing them on the snow to a side hit, and then finally off of a jump with a grab. I'll share with you the key skills you wanna build along the way, and also the mistakes that you wanna avoid. Let's jump right into it. The first place you wanna practice your 360s is just on the snow as you ride. On the snow is the perfect place to get comfortable winding yourself up and creating the 360 spin. By doing the spin on the snow first, it's gonna give you a safe place where you can get comfortable with the spin and really show you how the 360 eventually is gonna feel in the air. As you're practicing your 360s on the run, be aware of your downhill edge so that you can keep it up and out of the snow. Next, you can bring your 360s to a mellow side hit Side hits are a great low consequence place to practice your 360s because you control how much air you get. The key for the 360 here is getting a clean heel carve up towards the side hit. The heel carve is going to give you that solid platform that you can pop off of and then create the spin from. This is the perfect place to get your timing down for the spin, so knowing where to pop off your heels as you create that rotation. For safety, make sure there's no other riders coming towards the landing of the side hit. Next, you can progress with your front side 360s off a small jump, which will give you more time in the air. The first thing you want to focus on here is the approach up to the jump. So I like to do three turns, a heel turn followed by a toe turn, and then finally a heel turn so that you're arriving at the lip of the jump, carving on your heel edge. By arriving on your heels, it's gonna give you that platform so you can pop yourself straight up in the air and create that 360 rotation. A common mistake on small jumps is creating the spin too soon so that your board is actually sideways before you come off the lip. If you do this, this is gonna cause you to also land sideways and slide out the landing. The other common mistake is just not getting enough height on the 360, and if you're spinning too fast, you're just gonna slide out as well. So be patient, but also get that clean pop straight into the air. That'll give you the height so that you're not rushing the spin and it'll come around nice and smoothly so you can lock in that landing. If you do find yourself sliding the landing, you can think about spinning 270 and then just twisting that last 90 degrees to finish off the 360. The next place to progress with your 360s is onto larger jumps and adding in a grab. The grab that I like to do with the front three is an indie grab because you're reaching for the grab in the same direction that you're rotating with the spin. I like to visualize grabbing the spin at 180 degrees. This will allow you to create the rotation, get the grab, and then let go of the grab when you're ready to come out of the 360 spin. A quick bonus tip, if you wanna practice with this trick in the off season, take it to a trampoline center where you can practice with a trampoline board, getting that grab and practicing the 360 spin. It's an amazing way to build your air awareness and just learn how it feels to create that spin in the air. I hope those tips will help with your 360 progression. If you have any questions, hit me up down in the comments. I'll also put a link here to the progression playlist where there's videos on how to progress with 180s and also how to progress with just straight jumps. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe here to Snowboard Pro Camp and I'll see you in the next video soon.